My name is Jonas Forslund and I am going to demonstrate the Cobra Oral Surgery Simulator. This simulator is designed for practicing oral surgery procedures in a safe virtual environment. The key technologies that enable this is a large 3D display where you can see a realistic representation of a virtual patient and a haptic device with which you can feel and interact with the patient using virtual instruments. We have done research and development in this field over several years and this is our latest version of the simulator. So let me show you some of the features. First we have a new enclosure designed to blend in well in a modern teaching clinic. Everything is included in one unit and only requires one power cord. You start it with one press of a single button and then you control it from the side screen. The whole unit is height adjustable for ergonomic positioning. If you have limited space, you can also use it without the stand on a regular table. Second, the simulator comes with two 3D glasses and a large monitor, so two users can view the simulation at the same time. This is very useful when a teacher instructs a student in the best way to handle the instruments and how to treat a specific patient. Third, we have a custom-made haptic device that can handle larger forces and higher stiffnesses than previously. This is useful when you want to really feel the differences of various tissues like bone and enamel. So let me take you through one procedure. Here on the side screen, I can select among several patient cases, each derived from a real scenario. Here is one case where a 16-year-old girl saw medical assistance due to complaints of missing teeth. It turns out that this impacted tooth is in the way for the others to erupt. So we have to remove it. In addition, we have to remove uh, this tooth. So now I put on my 3D glasses and I look down here below this mirror. And the purpose of the mirror is to enable me to, to actually feel the teeth and bone where I see them. They are co-located. When I show the simulator to, to new users, I usually recommend them to find and touch the surface of the teeth with a virtual instrument. This way you can actually feel and explore the shape using your sense of touch. When you're used to how the instrument works, you can start drilling. To drill, press the left foot pedal. Here we will start by removing some bone to open a window to the tooth we are going to extract. Then I section the tooth. Now I want to see if I can extract it. I use my right foot pedal to switch to an elevator. And if I have removed enough material, it would crack and I can take it out in parts. So there you go. And there was the left side. And now in order to remove the root, I have to remove some more bone first. There you go. Next I extract the second tooth. Here I too have to 
section the tooth and take it out in parts. As you may have seen, the fidelity of the simulated elevator is not as precise as that of the drill. But the role it plays here is to show the student all the steps involved in the procedure and that you have to drill enough in the right area in order to proceed. When I'm done, or actually also during the procedure, I can read how much material I have removed and if I have hurt any critical tissue. I can also save my work and replay it later. Okay. So that concludes our demonstration today. And if you want more information, please go to cobrasimulator.com. Uh, my name is Jonas Forslund, and I'm happy to answer any questions about this product.